This is problem number 11 on the sample test problems for test number one. Let f of x equal 3x minus 1 and g of x equals ln of 2x. Write formulas for the output of each of the following functions and state the domain of each. Part a, f of g of x. So when we're composing functions, we work inside to outside. g of x in this case is ln of 2x. And now we're doing f applied to that. F is a formula that takes three times the input and subtracts one. That's the three X minus one. The input in this case is an X though, it's ln of two X. So getting rid of those parentheses, we just get three ln of two X minus one. The domain here, we just need to make sure that the thing you stick into the ln function is positive. So we need 2x to be greater than 0, which means x is greater than 0. So the domain of this function is all the numbers greater than 0, not including 0. B, g of f of x, again work from the inside to the outside. So this is g of 3x minus 1. g is a function which, take, which takes ln of 2 times whatever you give it. Normally it's an x. In this case, it's the thing in the first parentheses here, 3x minus 1. So cleaning this up a little bit or distributing, we get ln of 6x minus 2. And same idea as the domain issue up above. We need to make sure that the stuff inside the log is bigger than 0. So we make 6x minus 2 bigger than 0, add 2, and divide by 6 then we get x is bigger than a third. So the domain of this one is all the numbers bigger than a third, not equal to a third. F inverse of x. So we've got three x minus one is the original function. So there's a, an intuitive way, which sometimes works, and then a procedural way, which always works. So the intuitive way first. Uh, f is a function which first triples the number x and then subtracts 1. So we first triple and then subtract 1. So then f inverse must do the opposite and in the opposite order. We must do the opposite of subtracting 1. So that's x plus 1. And then do the opposite of triple. Let's divide by 3. If you want to do the procedural way, first replace y with f of x, or other way around, replace f of x with y. Then change all the y's to x's and all the x's to y's. Solve the new equation for y. And then finally, uh, instead of y, we can call it f inverse of x. And you should see that this agrees with what we had said intuitively. Uh, the domain here, there's no problems, no division by x's, no radicals. So the domain here is all real numbers. OK, g inverse of x. We'll come up here and write down what g is. It's ln of 2x. All right, uh, so again, you could think of doing it in an intuitive way. G is a function which first takes the input x, and then it doubles it, and then hits it with an ln. So we go first, you double, and then you take the natural log. So intuitively, doing the opposite of those in the reverse order, the opposite of taking ln is hitting it with an e. And then the opposite of doubling is cutting in half. If we want a procedural way, instead of g of x, we can call it y. 
interchange the X's and Y's. Solve the new equation for Y. This guy becomes E to the X equals 2Y. That's the definition of the LN equation. And then solving for Y, we just need to divide by 2. And then finally replace Y with F inverse of X. And you can see again, the procedure gives the same answer as the intuitive way. And for the domain of this function, we have no division, we have no square roots. E is perfectly well-defined for every real number. So the domain again is all real numbers. <laughs>